Now let's talk about testing your application. Testing is a very important step in developing an application. There are two packages in PHP that can help us writing tests. Well, do you remember when we talked about dependency management and talked about Composer and how to use a package? Now we are going to use these two packages. One of them is PHP unit and the other is pest. Now let's first start with PHP unit. If I go to packages.org and write PHP unit, it brings me the package name. And if I click on it, I can require it with running this command, composer require PHP unit, PHP unit. And let's bring it in our application. I do not have any composer.json file, but let's see if we can paste it here. And composer require PHP unit. Now it's doing the magic and creating the, all the necessary file and requiring the package itself. It might take a while, so let's wait. Perfect, now everything is installed and inside my project I can see that these two files have been added if I open my composer.json as you can see is php unit vendor and the package name is also php unit and the version is 9.5 and inside the vendor I can see that a lot of folders have been created the main package is this php unit but php unit itself has required other packages so that's why there are so many uh, packages inside my project and in order to see if it has worked let's run this command if i run vendor bin and php unit this is this file vendor bin php unit it's going to run this file and see if it works as you can see, it has given me a list of commands I can use with PHP unit. Well, for the usage, it says PHP unit, the options and the file or PHP unit options and a directory. So I want to use the second one directory so I can organize my test in a different directory. Let's create a directory called tests. Inside this test, I want to create a file called example test.php. Okay, this is a PHP file. In order to be able to use all the functionalities from PHP unit, we have to create a class that extends test case class from PHP unit. So our class would have a name like example test extends. Do you remember when we talked about inheritance? So now our class is going to inherit all the functionalities from this test case, which comes from PHP unit, copy all of it and use the class up here and write it here so it will be cleaner. My class example test extends test case. So now we have all the functionalities from this test case. So let's see what we can do. Now the tests that we want to write should be inside this class. Each test should follow an, a specific structure. For example, we should write a function, public function. The name of the function should start with test. The rest depends on us. We can use snake case like test, it works, or we can write like it works. This part depends on us, but the first word should be test. And then we write the function itself to see if it works or not. Here I just want to create a simple test that checks if a value is true. How can I check for values? Let's say I have a value like uh, is working equals to true. This is a boolean value. And I want to check if this is working is true. How can I check that? Well, we need to use assert functions. And they are the functions that we get access because of extending this test case. We are using the functionalities that are provided for us from this test case. So we should be able to use this. And then, as I said, we should use the assert functions. Assert, 
assert for example i want to check if this value is true so i can say assert true this function assert true will check if the value that i'm passing to it is true or not so now let's run this test and see what it returns to us now in order to run the test i can use the same command and to pass the directory i want to check for test so the name of the directory we have created is test so now php unit is going to go through this test directory and check for all the files and classes and see the test there and start running them and show me the result now let's see if i run this it has gone through the test it's telling me that there was one test and there inside the test there was one assertion and that assertion was okay it has passed but if i change it to false it will tell me that the test did not pass let's see it tells me that there is one test and there was one assertion and the assertion failed because our value is false and it's checking to see if this is true if it's not true then it's going to fail let's turn it back to true and as you can see it tells me that example test test is working failed asserting that false is true okay as i told you the first part of the function needs to be test if i remove that it's not going to work no test found in class example test but if i bring the test back and i can write the name of the function the rest of the function like any way i want i can say it works and it would still work and as you can see it has passed this was php unit there are so many assertion and i can use all of them inside my test it's very powerful and helps us write a lot of important and necessary tests for our applications so now let's see the next one which was pest now if i go back to packages and search for pest i can see pest php pest and i can run this command composer require pest php pest so let's run it i can add this package to my project as well great it's done now if i go to my composer json i can see that pest php version 1.21 is also added to my project perfect and if i go to vendor i think there is a file yes uh, there is pest php and pest and all its plugins amazing now let's use it now as you can see inside the bin i also have pest so we are going to use that command that we had like do you remember when we had a command bin php unit now we are going to access pest now in order to initialize our project with pest all i need to do is to run this command in it this will prepare the project for me it tells that okay file test example test is already exists so it's not going to create that for me but other steps like php unit.xml file and test pest.php file and pest initialized perfect everything is correct now i want to show you something cool we haven't done anything with pest php and all we have is a test that we have written with php unit now if i run pest it will also include all the tests that we have written with php unit so i don't need to change any format but i can use the powerful tools that pest has added if i run something like vendor bin pest and let's go through the folder the usage is almost the same i can run the pest command and then uh, specify the directory here uh, my directory is tests so if i run it it will go through the directory and it will tell me that that there was one test the test name was it works and it has passed it took 0.1 seconds that's much cleaner and i can even change it i can keep writing tests in php unit format and it would work for example if i turn it back to false and run the comment again it's going to tell me that it failed and it was at this line that it failed it is showing me a lot more information so it's very good to use this past php even if your tests are in the structure defined by php unit you can also use this past php and get a lot more information and as you can see the comments that it's giving me is 
a lot cleaner and a lot more beautiful. It has colors, it has everything. It's telling me that it works. Test has failed. Why? Because this line was not correct. Perfect. So now I know there is something wrong here. I can change it back to true. And if I run the test again, it passes. But what if I want to write the code in pest structure rather than PHP unit structure? This is how a test in PHP unit format works. Yeah. Now let's create another test in pest structure format. So inside our test, I'm going to create a new file. And this file is called example pest test dot php. With pest, the tests are more readable and a lot more simpler. We can write our test with the help of two functions. The first one is test and the second one is it. Both of them works exactly the same. The first argument is description of the test. For example, I say test it works and if I want to use I can use it works it's just more readable test it works or it works and as a second argument is a test itself which is an anonymous function I can write function and inside the function I can use any assertion I want with PHP unit we were using this assert but with pest, we write expect some value to be something else. It's exactly like English. It's like expect my value to be true would be translated to is working equals to true. Expect is working to be true. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. This is so beautiful. Expect is working to be true. And again, as I said, both of the functions work exactly the same. It's just about the readability. Now let's run the test again. It is telling me that it works already exists. So let's change to it test it works in past. Test it works with past. And let's run it again. As you can see, it has passed three tests. It works in PEST, it works with PEST, and the other one was PHP unit test. It works, it has gone through that as well. It's very beautiful. If I change it to false, it's going to tell me that one of the tests failed because it's working is false and expect is working to be true, but it's false, but I can use another function, for example, to be false. Now, since I'm expecting it to be false, this would pass if I run it again as you can see all of them passed this is great this is very powerful but I personally like this one because it's much more readable and it's like exactly English expect something to be true and it's very powerful but it doesn't matter which one you use as long as you write tests for your application to make it more maintainable it's fine as you have seen with the power of these two packages, it's super easy to write tests for every aspect of your application. This was just the intro to testing. You can learn more about testing and how you can organize your tests in different folders, how to get coverage and things like that from their official documentation for PHP unit and pest. That's it for now. Let's go to the next topic.